You've deleted a video in which you praised ISIS. Why? I don't know which video you're talking about in particular. It might have been a video from a long time ago. But in general, I understand that, like I said, the world is not black and white. The world is gray areas. And Western imperialism as a whole has been causing more problems than it's ever fixed. And it's disgusting. And I don't know the exact video you're referencing. But sometimes when an underdog destroys a Western imperialist, I have a degree of... I wouldn't say satisfaction, but every satisfaction. Single, no, but there's a, there's certainly a degree of uh, oh, the, it, the way ISIS. Well, I don't know the particular. Conducted themselves. I don't know about the particular video we're talking. Well, about. ISIS were one of the most deadly terror groups in the world. Absolutely, they committed a series of appalling atrocities. Sure, killing innocent people left, Completely. right, and centre. Yeah. how could you possibly have satisfaction? Well, I, if it's the video I'm recollecting, if it's the video we're talking about, it's about the fact that I believe that ISIS was funded by the West and created by the West in the first place. And it wasn't a degree of satisfaction, like, I'm happy ISIS exists. It was a commentary on the world. Well, here's what you said. ISIS are the real Muslims, because ISIS do exactly what the book says. Kill everyone who's not a Muslim and chop people's heads off and set them on fire and be raging lunatics. But all the other Muslims go, they're not real Muslims because I read the book, and ignore those parts. Well, then you're not an effing Muslim because you're ignoring the effing book. That's an interesting, that's an interesting point you've just raised, because I am now Islamic. And it's, it's funny because I used to be an atheist, and when you're an atheist... You believe that religion causes more problems than it fixes, and then you come to a realization and you start to learn the truth of yourself and the truth of God, and you realize that religion is actually the cure for most of the problems in the world, and godlessness is the problem in the world. So that is something I will apologize for and admit I was wrong about because I was atheistic, and now as a Muslim, I understand that's absolutely not the case. If that's the particular video you're talking about, then... then the same well, that's really thing. interesting. So you, you regret saying that? Yeah, because you learn and you grow and you evolve, as I said. Uh, at the time, I believed it because I didn't believe in God at the time. It was a very long time ago. It's actually kind of a testament to you, Piers. You managed to find the oldest possible videos of me that have ever existed. But at the time, I was atheistic. Well, no, I was curious because you have recently converted to Islam. Correct. So these questions, I think, are pertinent to your conversion. Absolutely. As to what you actually believe as a practicing Muslim now. Uh, yeah, I believe that Islam is beautiful. I believe it's the last true religion on earth. It's certainly the last respected religion on earth. And I felt differently inside since I've converted. And I think it has the solutions to a lot of the problems we're facing in the world today. That particular video was once again satirical. A lot of people watching this would not have seen it. They would not have seen the joke element of it. It's fine. It, but It's not funny, though, is no, it? Well, you know, it's like most of the time, as we discussed in our first interview with me, things are taken out of context, short form, et cetera, et cetera. But all in all, you could say the same things about Christians. If you were to read the Old Testament and say, stick to the Old Testament, you'd kill anyone who works on a Sunday. So it, it, it's not applicable to you.